Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, there is a huge, I mean massively huge, coronal hole on the south pole of the sun. Scientists say it is enormous and the impact could be very concerning to us here on earth. Now, let me just share with you some things. Let's just scroll up here for a second. I want you to see a, uh, a little bit about what this all is all about as it relates to the sun. Uh, the, this is a, a report that we received uh, from a good brother of ours out of Brazil. It says, the mystery at the sun's south pole, NASA reveals a huge coronal hole uh, on the solar surface where winds of course, could reach 500 miles per second. That's insane, folks. I mean, seriously, that is insane. Um, this corona holes, of course, is... It's, this has happened before. I'm not saying it's something brand new. We've never heard of it before. We have. But what it does is it allows some particles from the sun to escape the atmosphere of the sun. What a corona hole is this? It's the... It's the force shield, if you will. It's the protective shield of the sun. And if it gets a massive hole or if it gets a hole penetrating through it, then it can allow very strong UV rays uh, or coronal mass injections known as CMEs. And they could send powerful waves on the earth, especially if it's earth-facing, which can disrupt satellite communications, television and radio communications. I mean, it could even fry the power grid. Now, this thing is gigantic, as you can see. I mean, it's massive. So we're dealing here with a very significant situation developing on the sun, uh, and this could last for a long time, which means the Earth is going to be receiving more than usual coronal mass injections and... UV rays, and I could tell you, one of the reasons why I'm concerned about this more than any is this CERN that they're going to fire up in Scotland on March the 15th. Now, I haven't done a video on that yet, and I'm going to, but if they crank the CERN up to its maximum, it could tear a hole in the Earth's atmospheric protection opening us for direct sunlight UV rays. It could scorch men, which actually is in the Bible, where it says the sun will scorch men and burn them, and, and they will cry and gnaw their tongues for pain, and they will blaspheme God because they know it's coming from the heavens. So anyway, let's just keep an eye on what's going on here. Certainly, 2015, you're going to see an unbelievable, this will be the year of the most prophetic events that you've seen in your lifetime, except if you've been around since 1948. I'm telling you, get ready. With the third and fourth blood moon is going to happen, it's the Shemitah year, a year of release or judgment. There is tension in, with Russia and the United States with more sanctions being imposed on Russia, and Russia is still uh, very active with Ukraine. There is a plagues of Ebola still spreading and other diseases. The Vatican is still working on trying to create a one world religious religion call. ISIS is still roaring through the Middle East, persecuting Christians, butchering them both Catholic and Protestants. They don't care if you're a Catholic or a Protestant. They'll kill you for the cause of Christ. That's why we have to have unity in the body of Christ. It is time that we unify and be one, one body under Jesus Christ. It's the last days. Are you saved? There is so much going on, folks. Keep an eye on the sun because it really is place the sun the jesus even said there shall be signs in the sun and the moon and the stars and distress of nations with perplexity and the sea and the waves roaring 
men's hearts failing them for fear of things coming upon the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the sign of the Son of Man coming in a power of great glory. And when you begin to see these things come to pass, he says, lift up your heads, look up, for your redemption draweth nigh. St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 21. 